Hey, how you guys doing? So this is the beginning of my ant weight battle bot. Ant weights usually can't be any larger than 4 inches squared and can't weigh any more than 150 grams. So my bot is right where it needs to be. So my robot is by no means completed just yet, but I have gotten a lot done as far as the body goes. So I made the body out of Lexan, and I super glued it together using crazy glue, and the bonds are actually a lot stronger than I thought they would be. It's a very, very durable glue, and the Lexan itself, I'm having absolutely no problems with whatsoever. So I have three motors in here. Two of those motors drive the robot and the other one actually operates the flipper. I have a flipper robot. So that will actually operate the armature for the flipper. And I'm actually using the same servos, that'll be this one right here, the same servos that I did for my RC tank a few weeks back. And so if you look on front of the flipper, there's this little metal piece here. And this is actually some sheet metal I got at Lowe's. And I tried to build a little bit of a scoop on the front of this to try to get up underneath of the robots. I would have made it longer, but I'm already getting pretty close to the max out length of the bot. I'm also hoping to add some kind of peak to the top of the flipper so that when it falls over onto its back, it'll be able to self ride itself. And for wheels, I'm actually using Lego wheels. And what I did is I actually super glued one of the servo's gears into the wheel so that the servo will have something to grip onto. And these wheels actually work quite nicely because as you can see, it's very close to flush with the bottom of the robot, but it sticks out just enough to get traction on the floor. And I know a lot of people when they build these, they'll actually go out and they'll buy battery packs to put inside the robot. But whenever I do that, my battery packs always die and I have to wait for them to recharge and everything. So this robot I've actually designed to run off just three AAA batteries, which fit very tightly and snugly right underneath the flipper. So I have my uh, AAAs here and I should have just enough room to put a receiver on the other side of it. With my next steps will probably be finishing some kind of cover for the top of the robot and trying to fit everything in here because as you can see it's very tight fit at the moment I'll see if I can reposition everything and get it to fit inside nice and snug. So for the most part I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I'm hoping to finish it within the next week and put out the finished product next week with the drive test and the flipper test but it's coming along quite nicely and I think it'll be quite a nice little robot. Awesome. So thanks so much for you guys watching. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And Lord willing, I'll see you next week with part two. Thank you for watching and please feel free to subscribe.